गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन स्टूडेंट्स आई गौरव कुमार द्विवेदी वेलकम यू बैक वंस अगेन इन द साइंस क्लास एज दिस इज आवर थर्ड क्लास इन दिस वीक सो बिफोर गोइंग अहेड वी एज वेल एज अस इट इज आवर ड्यूटी एज वेल एज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टेक all the necessary precautions so that we remain safe from this pandemic situation as we all majority of the students we all are currently situated or present in varanasi and the number of cases in varanasi is rising very quickly so i request each and every one of you to remain inside your homes and if it is very urgent then only please go out and carry on with your tasks that is take all the necessary precautions so that you remain safe as well as your family remains safe in this pandemic situation all right so let us go ahead with today's class as you know class that is we have already discussed very few terms or basically majority of the chapter we have already discussed again as i have done in the previous classes today also i will be giving you the detailed account or a recapitulation of all those topics which we have already completed so let us go ahead as the name of the chapter is germs and diseases so we have different types of microbes like bacteria protozoa viruses fungi and <coughs> many no out of these all these microbes they are harmful as well as they are useful usefulness of the microbes includes in the baking industry wine industry as well as they are also used for the production of antibiotics as well as different kinds of medicines antibiotics all of you know that these antibiotics when they are given by the doctors along with the normal medicines they enhance the recovery of the patient matlab jab doctors hame antibiotics dete hain normal medicines ke sath to हमारा जो भी इलनेस होता है जो भी डिसीज होता है चाहे वो कफ हो चाहे कोल्ड हो इट गेट्स रिकवर्ड वेरी क्विकली मतलब हम जल्दी ठीक हो जाते हैं इसीलिए दीज माइक्रोब्स दे आर वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन दे आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर क्लीनिंग अप our entire environment whatever the organic waste which you throw here and there or in the soil or when you put it inside your dust bins and you give it to the waste collector he or she categorizes all those waste materials like plastics are being separated organic waste are being separated iron articles are separated and in the same way all these different types of waste are classified and they are processed accordingly likewise whatever the organic waste is there they are being acted upon by these microbes and they get converted into organic manure matlab जितने भी हमारे ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट होते हैं मतलब जो भी फूड आइटम्स 
या जो भी चीज़ें डेड प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल रिमेन्स इन सब के ऊपर ये सारे माइक्रोब्स इनको खाने लगते हैं जब डेथ हो जाती है इन प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स की और उसे फिर से सॉयल में मिक्स कर देते हैं एंड द सॉयल बिकम्स रिच इन न्यूट्रिय द नेक्स्ट वी हैव स्टडी दैट हाउ द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द डिसीज अकर फ्रॉम दीज माइक्रोब्स सो द वेरी फर्स्ट वॉज कंटेमिनेटेड फूड एंड वाटर सेकेंड वॉज थ्रू एयर थर्ड वॉज बाई डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट विथ अ सिक पर्सन एंड द लास्ट वेन वी आर बिटन बाई सम इंसेक्ट्स सच एज मॉस्किटोज whether it is female anopheles or adders they are response uh, responsible for causing some or the other kinds of diseases okay next we have started what are the different types of preventive measures which we can take to protect ourselves from these microbes so the very first categorization was to remain in a hygienic condition second was to <clears throat> keep our homes and surroundings clean and the third one was to using clean water and food that is using washing the fruits and vegetables before eating or cooking them now so this was all which we have studied till now let us go ahead with the third and the last part that is getting vaccinated now getting vaccinated means what all right getting vaccinated means what that is we are getting some or the other kind of vaccines at different intervals in our life span and basically all these vaccines are being provided or given to us at a very early stages in our life because we need much more protection in our early days as compared to the later days because in the early ages we are not very much strong enough to face the environmental conditions or to face the the harmful effects of these microbes now what is this how we are going to do this let us have a quick idea over this vaccination part all right so let us start with the very first one that is vaccination this all of you would have remembered nobody would have forgotten this when our parents or the doctors they used to give us the greediness or they used to give tell us that you just have this or that injection and you'll be getting a chocolate you'll be getting a lollipop or you'll be getting a toffee in place of this and we used to try our level best to try as less as possible so this was all that is in the vaccination part moving ahead with this the second part which is also very much familiar to you is this one if you remember this is the best example of polio okay polio is also a type of vaccine or it is also a type of vaccination process only in which 3 to 4 drops of polio drops are being provided to us now the very important part that is this vaccination if you remember here what you are able to see you are taking this vaccine orally all right but in the first case what you are able to see the doctor is ready with the injection so either these vaccines 
are injected into our body with the help of syringe or they are taken by the help of the doctors orally just by drinking it or by taking it through our mouth all right now <clears throat> apart from this this is not only one okay we have plenty of vaccines which are being given to us from the time of birth i am just giving you a few idea of this okay i am not going into the detail of all these vaccines but i am going to tell you what are these vaccines if you can see here class at the time of birth the very first vaccine which is given to us is hepatitis b vaccine then when you become older of 1 to 2 months the second dose of hepatitis b is given to you next when you are of 2 months then different types of vaccines are being provided to you like dtap hiv ipv pcv rv all right the full forms are given here rv for rota virus vaccine pcv is your pneumonia purple conjugate vaccine ipv inactivated polio virus vaccine so in this way this is these are the vaccines which are given when we are 2 months old when we become 4 months old again some more vaccines are provided to us either injected or taken orally like your dtap hiv ipv pcv rv if you can compare here class these are the same vaccines which are given at the end of 2 months and at the end of 4 months so this is the second or the third dose of the same vaccine because one dose is not enough to protect ourselves from the harmful action of the microbes next what we have is this dtap again at the end of the 6 months again you are able to see that the same vaccines are being given so 3 to 4 doses of these vaccines are given to us then when we become 6 months older or annually that is when we are around 1 year old then we are given influenza that is flu vaccine then from 6 to 18 we are given hep b ipv 12 to 15 months again hiv second dose or the third one and then it is your mmr mmr is a vaccine which is given for your measles mumps and rubella all right if you remember rubella was much more common just before the lockdown when the government took initiative from to each and every schools and to participate and have this vaccination done in most of the children pcv chicken pox varicella all these are the vaccines only which are being injected or taken orally then when we become 12 to 23 months that is around 1 to 2 years we are being again given the next hepatitis vaccine again then dtap dtap imr sorry mmr ipv varicella 11 to 12 years again hpv tdap okay 16 to 18 years meningococcal b vaccine men b all right so this is what this is nothing but the different kinds of vaccines or you can say to be medicines which are injected or taken orally inside our body so that we remain healthy we are not attacked by the microbes and somehow if 
these microbes enter into our body so we have some antibodies which fight against them okay so this vaccination produces antibodies inside our body so that whenever those microbes try to enter inside our body these antibodies fight with them and they destroy them and save us from further infections all right or infection as uh, further diseases one important more thing is that class once the antibodies are produced inside our body these antibodies remain up to our life time that is it is not like this if you i am giving you just very simple example if you can see here that is suppose this h hep a hepatitis a vaccine is given to you okay though so once it has been given to you then between 12 to 23 months so whether you are 6 years old or 10 or 30 or 40 the antibodies produced by this vaccine will remain active inside your body and whenever hepatitis <coughs> disease or microbes they try to attack your body they try to enter inside your body this vaccine the antibodies which has been produced as a result of this vaccine they will fight with this and they will not allow the hepatitis to take place inside our body all right moving ahead with the next part that is some other diseases all right some other diseases when we are talking about class so uh, here we are basically talking about those diseases which come or get transferred from your mothers that is when you are present in your mothers womb at that time only what are the diseases which get transferred into you let us have a quick and a simplified way of this entire congenital disease if you can see here class there are two elliptical circles here the bigger elliptical circle is representing your mother's womb where the development of the baby occurs throughout the 9 months all right so inside the mother's womb the baby is present all right now what happens how this congenital disease occurs or how it gets transferred to the baby now see 3 to 4 chances are there that is if you can see here if somehow the mother is having contaminated food and water with chemicals then as the baby is completely dependent on the mother's womb so whatever contaminated food is being eaten up by the mother the same will be getting transferred to the baby and that is why the baby will also start suffering from the various kinds of diseases moving ahead the second type if the mother is having unhealthy lifestyle when we are talking about unhealthy lifestyle class so unhealthy lifestyle means that is not proper lifestyle what is that mean let us have a look over it in proper diet the very first one that is whatever we are eating it should contain all the different five types of nutrients that is carbohydrate protein fats minerals vitamins roughage as well as your water all right so this improper diet improper diet means what what diet or food which you are eating is lacking one or more than one 
different types of nutrients as a result of which the baby as the mother is not getting proper diet so the baby will also not get proper nutrients and due to this due to <coughs> less nutrients the baby will either become very weak and will start suffering from different kinds of diseases another unhealthy lifestyle is your smoking smoking cigarettes or drinking alcohol both of them can be taken together that is c <coughs> this is very important here that is the mother is responsible for the healthy growth and development of the baby if the mother is drinking alcohol or the mother is smoking the same things or the same contaminations will be getting transferred through the blood into the baby and as a result of this contaminated part the baby will also start suffering from various kinds of diseases so what is the overall conclusion is that is whether it is contaminated food and water or unhealthy lifestyle that is improper diet smoking alcohol or anything if any of these task is being performed by the mother then the baby is also going to suffer with this all right now i hope this con congenital disease is clear to all of you now <coughs> apart from this why is it is said to be congenital because the baby gets this disease inside the mother's womb only baby ko ye disease mother ke andar hi ho jata hai baby bahar nikal jab bahar aata hai environment mein tab usko jo diseases honge wo to alag honge but all these diseases they get transferred when the baby is present inside the mother's womb only all right moving ahead to the next part that is the allergy when we are talking about this allergy so always remember this is very tricky very confusing in the medical practice why it is very tricky why very confusing because we don't have a simple cause for this allergy that is we don't know what is the actual cause for this allergy all right because this allergy can be from anything let me show you some of the examples here the very first one is this one okay if you can see here runny nose i hope the image is clear to each and every one if you are uh, just please pay attention you will be able to understand that running nose means what when the watery fluid is again and again coming from your nose this is also a kind of allergy next one is your rashes that is when you keep on scrubbing your hands face or any part of your body that can also be one of the allergies coughing when you come in contact with the smoke or any other contaminated air vomiting when you eat some kind of food which your body does not adapt or does not suits your body next in the same way rubbing your eyes or swelling all these are nothing but the different kinds of allergies now let me show you something more here now see this if you can see in this picture so here what you are able to observe the smaller person is holding a bouquet of rose in front of that lady or that second person as soon as the rose is kept near the nose of that lady the lady starts sneezing again and 
again okay so why the lady starts sneezing because she is having some kind of allergy by the smell of the roots so that is why it is so much tricky that this allergy can be due to anything it can be due to dust it can be due to smoke it can be due to smell it can be due to any kind of eatable part food items or anything we don't have any particular cause for this allergy all right moving ahead so this was all for today's discussion that is we have discussed the third part that is getting vaccinated how and why these vaccines are being given to us generally the vaccines are obtained by killing the microbes okay and after killing the microbes these are injected or taken orally by us and thereafter they protect us in the entire life next we have studied that was the different types of vaccines which you come across at the time of your birth and slowly and gradually when you become older and older next we also discussed about congenital diseases that is the diseases which get transferred inside the mother's womb only all right next we also discussed last that was allergy in the case of allergy we are not sure what is the possible cause for this is scratching running nose irritation in the eye or it can be any other possible reason is that clear to all of you now so moving ahead with this this was all for today next we will be continuing in the further classes till this week this was our last class in the next week we will continue again till that time stay safe and stay healthy and again i repeat take all the necessary precautions to protect yourself as well as your family against covid 19 and please class do not forget to revise whatever you all have studied in these three days that is monday tuesday and wednesday all right so this was all for today thank you and have a great day ahead